All right, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It is your boy Q. We're back in this YouTube thing. Before we get started, you already know what to do. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Those are my most used social medias and just the best spot for you guys to stay up to date with me and what I'm doing. And of course, if you guys did not know yet, my new website is live at quintonbobbit.com. You can cop all of my sounds there. Everything is available over there. Vocal kits, one shot kits, drum kits, loop kits, anything you need, anything you want. Go check it out. And you guys cop and definitely helps me and supports the channel. And I mean, good sounds i mean i'm telling you that drum kit be hitting right now also forgot to mention this in the last video but i just started my discord if you guys are interested in that go ahead hop in there you can chat with me you guys can submit samples and stuff and i might even use them yeah the link to join that discord will be in the description top link below anyways let's get into today's actual video the topic for today is i'm gonna be showing you guys how chi chi and section eight one of the hardest producers out right now make some beats for little baby well, let's just pull fl studio up right now and get to work All right, so as you guys can see, I already have like a little bass down. I have the BPM set at 143 and I'm using this contact bank right here. It is called the Belkin Ethnic Orchestra. I'm using this gypsy trumpet. Basically what I did here is if you go on FL Studio, bring this down right here, go to uh, view and then go to scale highlighting. You could, you could select a scale, which basically blacks out, the, blacks out the notes that aren't in the scale. So as you can see, I'm in C sharp minor and C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp and so on are the keys that are actually in the scale. Then you can see the blacked out notes aren't. Basically what I did here was just lay down a super simple triad and I started with the C sharp minor and I took this middle E note and brought it up an octave. And then we have these filler notes right here, same exact chord, these two filler notes right here. And then we go down to, I believe this is an A minor chord. Did the same thing with that first chord and I brought that middle note up an octave. And then we have these last filler notes. I'm just gonna duplicate this over and we get this sound. Cool, so now what we're gonna do is just process a bit. So I'm gonna bring it to mix track one and we're gonna pull up this plugin by Hable Guys called Halftime. Just like Gross Beat, basically what it does is it takes the sound and makes it half the speed. <laughs> Turns out a lot. We're actually not gonna do that, but what we are gonna do is just EQ the sound a bit. Well, I like that. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead into my one shot kit which is called deserted if you guys uh, are looking to cop that you can go to my website quintabob.com and you'll find it on there but i'm just going to kind of look for like almost i want to say like a creepy sound something dark and like just eerie we're going to change the envelope settings just like this and we bring a little bit of attack in there just to stop the clickiness and i'm going to copy this over i think drop an active i like that a lot actually so what we're going to do is eq that because there's a little too much low end we're gonna add a Valhalla reverb. Let's see how these sound together. Cool, so now what we're gonna do is find another bell. Go into my one shot kit again. I'm just gonna start out with something random here and I'm just gonna normalize it so it's a little louder. And we're just gonna arpeggiate these notes. adding an image around here. I'm going to make it a little wider. I have this piano in my one-shot kit. I'm just going to copy those original chords we made here to this piano. We're just going to adjust the envelope settings. And then we're going to EQ the sound out a lot because this piano is super bright and I don't want it that bright. I'm just going to pull out a lot of that high end. And we don't want that low end in there either. I'm going to bring the BPM down a bit. mess with these a little bit these uh the arpeggiated piano notes or i mean the bell notes yeah i actually like that a lot better gives it a little bit more room to breathe all right i'm gonna add a bass in here just because i feel like i'm missing some bass right now so we're gonna see how that sounds now you do to uh, to add the bass in there is what we're gonna do is make the envelope settings like this just so it only is plays as long as the core or the note is held and we're just going to follow the root note. We already 
no, and it's just like this. Cool, so honestly, it's pretty close to done, but I feel like it's missing like one thing. So I'm gonna go into Analog Lab and just see if we can find a sound that really fills the rest of this out. Maybe the one, let's see. I really like this. You know, this really changes the whole vibe. But it's really, it's kind of way more what I'm actually looking for. So I think I'm actually going to keep that and we're going to delete that original contact bank. Need some like delay on this to match that sound. I'll pull up a normal fruity delay here. Two. I'm just gonna add some reverb to this. Yeah. You know? I'm gonna add this plugin by Delay Eternity right here, called Delay Eternity. Let me change the bass out as well. I have this one shot, this one shot synth from my one shot kit called Deserted called Flute. And basically what we're gonna do here is set the ADR like this. And then we're gonna go to the piano roll and kind of make like a little flute melody. I actually like that too so what we're gonna do here is just bring that bass up one on the mix track five and then we're gonna add some reverb to that make it sit a little further in the mix and then i'm gonna open a gross beat here we're gonna try and find some cool like timing things we could do with it There we go, this is pretty much the whole melody. I'm sticking with this right here. So uh, before we get started on the drums, we're gonna split this by channel and we're just going to arrange it how I normally would for a melody. So I'm gonna duplicate this over a bunch of times. So in the beginning, we're gonna start out with everything. Turn that flute down a little bit. We're gonna take the bell out and the flute. Well, and that's basically how I'm gonna arrange it. And then what I usually do at the end of my loops, duplicate this over a bunch of times and we play each of the sounds just all by themselves. So what I'll basically do here is go like this. So I have that first sound played, then I'll give it some room right in the middle like this. And then we'll have the next sound play. And I'll just repeat that. So we play it through. Save this and render it out and get started on the drums. All right, so I got the loop all cut up and basically with the drums here for a Chi Chi in section eight type beat, the key here is the triplet hi-hat thing. So what we're gonna do is immediately start with a clap. We're gonna go with this one for my kit called Problems and we're gonna use the default clap pattern and then we're just gonna go right into the hi-hat. Cool, so we're gonna go into the piano roll and we're gonna set the uh, magnet right here to one third beat. And we're just going to quantize that. We use the brush tool and just brush this in. And then we're just going to add some rolls in between to make it a little uh, sound a little better and add some bounce to it. Cool, so I kind of, I pretty much like how this sounds so far. So what we're going to do is just duplicate that over for the four bars. 
so we can change a little bit. And then we're also going to add some lower notes. Well, I like that, so we're going to duplicate that over. Boom, we got the eight bars. Now we're going to get a little snare going. Duplicate that over, then we'll uh, see if we can add like a little rim. And then we'll add like a little echo texture to it. So what I'm going to do is add two more of them and just have the velocities kind of crescendo down. And I'm actually going to select all of these and bring the velocities down just a tad bit. Get that over. And we're going to go straight into the 808. I'm going to be using this one for my kit called Spin Cycle. It's just basically a long spins, but I have it distorted a certain way. Sound how I want. I'm going to go to Cut Self, and we're going to turn this all the way up. I'm going to duplicate this over, and then something I notice a lot of times in uh, these Chi Chi and Section 8 beats, what they do is at the last part of the bar, like the eighth bar, what they do with the 808 is set a third of a beat on this little magnet thing. And what you do is you just quantize this, duplicate it over a bunch of times, and you'll have each one in between go up an octave. And then you get this sound. Then the last thing we're going to add is an open hat. I'm be using this one. So what I'm going to do here is route these to the mixer track, and I'm just going to mix these sounds in a little bit better. So I'm going to solo out all the drums. So if you guys have not heard already, the multi kit that I just dropped called Full Circle, it is basically a drum kit, a one shot kit, a loop kit all together, and then it has a bunch of other stuff sprinkled in between, like some midis to create your melodies. And one of my favorite parts about it is these mixer presets that I have in there. And I have this one, this hi-hat one, which uh, basically what it does is adds this little verse effect to your hi-hat that sounds like this. Also, what I'm going to do here is bring this clap down a few semitones. Then we're going to add in a kick, and then we are done. Then also what we're going to do here is I'm just going to set this to stretch. Everything here, I'm going to set to stretch. Boom, and we're going to bring the BPM up a little bit. Cool, so now we're just going to actually make a beat out of that because that is pretty much everything. So we're going to start with the intro. We're going to have an intro just like this. We're going to have the drop actually take out pretty much everything except for the main melody. And then what we're going to add is just a little riser just so it doesn't sound so like very minimal. We go into my drum kit and add this right here. Track that out. So it sounds. All right, so real quick, I just loaded up the uh, vocal template at Quinta Baba de Con. So we're going to do a little freestyle real quick. So I'm going to turn the reverb out and let's do it. Hey, bomb me in tank and I spray the light maze. Hey, fuck on my face. Huh, I'm in a race. Hey, take cake. Huh, hey, bomb me in. Bomb me in. Hey, I bomb me in tank and I spray that shit right up in your face. Out of my way. Huh, bomb me in Benz and I think it is right on them. Huh, yeah, yeah. 
Got yeah, bought me a Benz and I take it right off of the lot. Yeah, I did the race. Fuck that little bitch in the face. Fuck that little bitch in the face. Yeah, yeah. I bought me a tech and I spray this shit right in your face. Yeah, spray it like mace. Out of my way when I'm coming through, I hit the face. Yeah, right in the face. These diamonds they all up in my watch, all up my watch. Yeah, all them all bust down. Yeah, all them all bust down. Turn piece, fuck on that bitch like a white beat. Yeah. All right, so like I said, that is everything I got for you guys for right now. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you learned something. But anyways, yeah, if you guys did learn anything, hit that like button, subscribe. Tell a friend about this because like I said, I'm trying to hit 10K very soon. And once we do do that, I got a very special surprise planned. As always, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And of course, like I mentioned before, I just started that Discord, so might as well join that. I mean, you guys could always just chat with me, drop some samples in there. So yeah, that's all I got for right now. So I will see you guys in the next video.